going on, everybody? Welcome to the Pop Culture Corner. This is your boy, Ty, and I've been dying to watch this Thor trailer all day. It dropped earlier, but I waited at work all day, stayed off social media as much as I could so that we could react to it together to my favorite fans. Guys, before we watch the video and react to it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share it with your friends and family on social media. Come on, share the Thai guy with your friends and family. The guy from Boston, the pop culture guy. He's got cool guests on every once in a while. All right. Uh, and if you want to become a member, support the show further by sending a super chat while we're live and or becoming a member. Lots of cool uh, member perks coming soon uh, once we get to that 20 member mark, uh, which will hopefully soon be soon with your help. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Thor 4, the first uh, movie uh, franchise out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to get a fourth installment. Um, and what better of a character to do it with than Thor? Um, the character was not well received in Thor The Dark World and uh, not utilized well in Age of Ultron and other films. So um, it is only deserving of him to kind of continue on his legacy, especially after the renewed faith that came with Thor Ragnarok and Taika Waititi at the helm. I can't wait to watch. Let's do it. All right, guys, now we're back and we're ready to watch that Thor trailer. You know the one. You know the one. Um, and I am super, super, super excited. As you can tell, I have my Thor's hammer in the background, uh, which was uh, handcrafted uh, by a, a props maker. But uh, again, just remember to smash that like button and uh, become a member. Uh, follow us on social media. We do it for you. We do it for the culture. Let's get into this bad boy. I cannot wait. Oh my God, I've been waiting all day. These hands were once used for battle. Yes, they were. Now they're but humble tools for peace. I love it. Look at that. I need to figure out exactly who I am. Sweet child of mine! I will choose my own path. Live in the moment. Yes! My superhero days are over. Ha <laughs> ha ha! smile that it seems to me Reminds me of childhood Memories where everything was Oh afraid. my god! Told you. You ever feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. <laughs> Not me. What? Just listening. That was insane. Let's go back. To so he Oh my god. So basically Thor gets put back cuz clearly we there's a um a theme right so it starts with thor's talking about and how his hands are made for peace now right uh and then ends with a cracked hammer much like mine 
um, cracked hammer put back together, uh, assuming by uh, what I assume by Lady Thor coming into existence, right? Um, being worthy, puts it back together um, after he probably is getting his ass kicked. Uh, that Thor, the 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 um, the cape that he's rocking um, was amazing uh that was that was like a legitimate that was like the most thor thory thor looking thing i've seen out of the mcu to date uh what a teaser what a teaser um god i i'm gonna have to put that as a teaser trailer and and by the way i do have uh uh my feelers out and um what i've gathered is the full length trailer will play at either CinemaCon or before Doctor Strange. Um, so be ready for that. Um, I think we'll get a little bit more in, into what the story is. Um, Valkyrie looks miserable, so I'm sure she's going to be shooting up uh, and getting out of the the, the lady suit. <laughs> um, but what a, what a trailer. What did you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget that we are hosting a panel at this year's Spring Field Comic Con. Saggy Mellons and myself are hosting the panel um, at... Um, I want to see something. There's cool. the background. Um, Saggy Mellons and myself will be hosting the panel at uh, Springfield Comic Con, as well as um, hopefully interviewing guests uh, and, and doing a live podcast from the actual convention. That's coming up in July. And then on this Sunday, uh, we have our interview with Tom Patton, who directed 400 Bullets, Assailant. Um, not that one, because that's him. Uh, and and, and uh, a movie like Black Ops and Black Sight, uh, I cannot wait to talk to him. Um, he's super knowledgeable. So that's going to be a great conversation, guys. Uh, and, and until then, we will see you next time. <laughs>